Got her tilled up. Looking good, a little warm today. Maybe rain this afternoon or this evening, so we're got a little project here. We got oh, we got about a two acre plot, and we always put uh, beans or corn in here. And uh, it's always good early season. It's actually pretty good throughout the season, but early season you can catch a good deer in here. So we the problem is I've got warm season grasses uh, providing a pretty good screen, but a lot of times the deer will either be in the plot when you get there or when you leave they're in the plot. So what we're going to do this year is uh, we've got some big time borderline and we're pretty excited to put some of this in. But we're going to basically plant some of this behind the blind in front of the blind and then just kind of wrap it around just so we can we can get in and out without the deer seeing us and then we can walk walk right back to the house. So we, we've got about a little over uh, eighth of an acre, uh, eighth to a quarter of an acre. So we're gonna plant almost this full bag. This, this bag will actually do a quarter of an acre or 10,890 square feet. What I like about this big time borderline is it's got a variety of stuff. It's not just Egyptian wheat, but we've also got sun hemp and we've got some sorghum. We got millet, Egyptian wheat, and then we've got some sorghum Sudan grass. So this stuff will get good and tall, good and thick. We've got rain in the forecast for this evening. So that's why we're here and uh, we're going to go ahead and put this in. We've got it tilled up. Um, I've already sprayed it, so it was dead, you know, two, three weeks ago. I came in here and tilled it with a little five-foot tiller. Um, you can, you know, it's pretty affordable and you can do this in a lot of different ways, but uh, you, you wouldn't need the tiller. You could just, you know, uh, rough it up a little bit and broadcast it, but we're going to, we got it tilled. We'll, we'll broadcast the seed and then I'll come back and colt the packet and we'll get a get hopefully get some rain and get a good stand of some borderline That's, that's one way to do it right there. We got the zero turn mower, we got a Colt Packer on the back. And uh, typically we would probably use the Ferminator for something like this, but this smallest spot and kind of tight quarters, uh, instead of having the big eight foot Ferminator, we just went with the smaller smaller implements, a uh, little tiller, a little Colt Packer, zero turn. I don't mind Colt Packing with this because you can turn real sharp, works out pretty good. But we got her packed in right where we want it. I just basically press that seed into the loose soil and then we got grooves cut so when that rain comes hopefully the, the seeds right where it needs to be and then we'll, we'll just hope, hope for more rain and and then we might even throw a little fertilizer on this once it gets up you know two or three inches give it a little little burst of fertilizer nitrogen whatever it may be so should be good I think we got it just right <laughs> 